in this incredible and amazing simulation we live in, okay? How many of you realise that life is like a car? Hear me out on this, okay? So I just want you to start thinking that when you have problems with your car, is that you projecting something onto your mode of transport that is actually a reflection of what's going on in your inner state? One thing I can tell you is you're never actually driving. You think you are, but you're not actually moving. Remember that. When you get in your car, you're not actually moving. And how many of you can get from A to B and not even remember how you got there, but you got there? Okay, there's an example. You're not actually driving, but you think you are because you're in a simulation. Anyway, here we go. Um, so when you have a flat tire, is it possible that you are flat in life? Could it be true? I don't know. When you have a flat battery, do you need a break? Do you need to just take it easy and relax and stop? Maybe that's something you need to do if you've got a flat battery. Are you flat? As you know, is your battery flat? Are you knackered? Are you tired? Have you had enough? Is your car with a flat battery showing you you've had enough? When it comes to having a light out on your car, are you missing something? Because surely you would notice if there was a light out, you would replace it. So is there something you are missing when you've got a light out in your car? When you have a car, when your car breaks down. Think about that. When your car breaks down, are you on the verge of a breakdown? Do you need to stop? Do you need to just stop and think and take time for yourself? Are you near a breakdown with everything that's going on in your life? And of course, when you have a breakdown, you're often towed away. So when you're towed away, do you need to ask somebody for help in your life? Are you trying to do everything yourself? And therefore, when you have a tow from the AA or RAC or whatever, is it possible that that's you needing to reach out to other people and say, hey, do you know what? I can't cope. I need some help. When it comes to an emergency stop, are you going the wrong way? Do you need to stop what you're doing? Do you need to stop because you're heading in the wrong direction? Have you made a decision recently and you are, that's actually the wrong decision because you didn't follow your intuition? When we get a speeding ticket, do we need to slow down in life? Are we taking too many risks? When somebody cuts you up, has somebody cut you up? Has somebody hurt you recently with the words or the things that they've said to you? Is it possible someone cutting you up in traffic is because you're cut up over someone or someone's cut you up or someone's cut you off? When you get rear-ended um, and someone goes into the back of you, is that someone trying to shove you on? Are you holding yourself up? Are you literally, do you need someone to give you a kick up the backside so that you get an absolute move on in life? When you stall your car, are you stalling in life? Are you not doing the things that you need to be doing? Do you keep stalling? Okay. When you can't find a space in a car park, for example. Okay. Is that because you need to find a space? You need to sort your life out. Okay. Do you need to make space for yourself? Because once you make space for yourself, believe it or not, you will have plenty of spaces in a car park and you will always have the space that you want in your life. When you have a broken mirror, okay, is that because something is broken in your past? Because remember, when you have, um, when you're looking in the mirror, you're looking back at yourself. So if you've got a broken mirror, are you looking at a broken version of you? When it comes to an oil change, that's essential for a car to keep it running. So when it comes to there's an oil problem or an oil light, is there a problem with your diet? Is there a problem with what you're eating? Is there a problem with what you're drinking? Do you need to have a look at what you are putting into your body? Because the, And when you've got an engine light on, do you need to check yourself? Have you checked in with yourself lately? Because when the engine light comes on in a car, it means there's a problem. So does it mean there is a problem with you? And when we're avoiding a service because of money or whatever, are we doing ourselves a disservice? Is there a service that we need? And also, when you think about it, we have an MOT every year in this country, okay, in the UK. Is that something you need to do? Do you need an MOT? Do you need to tweak things and change things? Just a thought. 
anyway, that's just my take on my car analogy. Um, pop it in the comments. What do you think? Is it possible that what is happening with our car is because actually that's things that are happening with us?